Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to unpack Gema 3, which is the latest edition of Google One. And it's highly compact and hyper efficient Chennai model. And let's understand what is the crazy things uh, Gema 3 is gonna come up and how it's been technically been compact and how it's gonna be trained and how it's been fine-tuned to have a task specific fine-tuning purpose and in this session i'm gonna unpack most of the things uh, how it's been uh, what is the technical stack how the embedding and token vocabulary and how it's been powered and later on i'm gonna show you how it's gonna working in kind of like a real time or fine tuning ones and i hope you are gonna watch this entire one to understand a gamma tree and you are an expert or you wanted to be play with um, large language models on a devices which is like a mobile phones and cam uh, tree is perfect for you the reason is right is a hyper efficient energy usage it means like it's optimized for your batteries um, usage on your phone and it's designed for task specific fine tuning i'm going to discuss into that as well and it has a strong instruction following capabilities and it's a compact because it has a 270 parameters total 170 million embedding and plus 100 transformer blocks and as i said right it, this is innovation cost of battery life so when you are doing interacting with your large language models uh, at the ai powered mobile ones which is required with like, higher battery efficiency and gima 3 is been innovation for the cost of the battery life so per 25 conversations it only costs 0.75 percent of the battery that's amazing and the reason why i said that because when I'm interacting with my mobile phone and I'm continuously typing it, it's consumed my uh, battery usage. And but Gema 3 with having that instruction following, it's out of the box and it has a quad checkpoint available. And I'm gonna talk that as well into the performance of the ones. And in architecture and a design of this, it has 270 million parameter with optimized distribution with 170 million and 100 transformer and if you look at like the in terms of the small large language model gamma 3 sits on top of it i love the small models because it's perform uh, much better in kind of like a faster responses and i can use as a uh, my prime routing response LM when I'm gonna define certain kind of like a um, addition making uh, on the larger LMs which having a deeper analyzing skill set and large vocabulary it has a 256 token vocabulary handling specific and rare tokens it's amazing you you can you you can use a gamma tree and fine tune and it's gonna responding into the different languages and the performance wise it's best in the size of the ones and this model is available in pre-trained and instruction based it's very good for a developer specific like me who wanted to be pre-trained my model but i don't want it to spend a huge amount on a gpus still trying my model gamma 3 is perfect for those who wanted to play with specialized applications which i'm going to be show how you can try and a specialized application with lesser compute cost for you and it's gonna have the AI capabilities to that so it's ideal for sentimental analysis and entity extraction query routing and text processing and compliance check that's what I said like it's best for your query routing a gamma gonna be your first point of interaction and then it's it started going for the large language model and it's very fast in terms of the response to the user and it because it drastically reduce your interference cost and it deliver the faster responses and rapid uh, kind of like a deployment all it needs to do is like it takes i tried with the fine tuning of the gamer 3 it takes me less than one hour to pre-train my model and started 
working on that and it's it takes lesser time lesser compute for you to fine tune and when you are using into the privacy is a major concern and with handling the sensitive information without sending the data into the cloud then gamma 3 is a perfect and it has a specialized multitask capabilities with the budget in consideration and it's available to download this model from hugging face olama and kegel lm studio and docker so it's it's the lightest version it can run on your local or uh, might be cloud run and you can try this model from the gamma 3 and uh, mlx and you can fine tune this model with unslot jacks and hugging face and it's easy to apply because it's easy to fine tune this model let me go ahead and try to unpack this entire model and let's understand more about this model so as i said like it's a compact in terms of like the model wise extremely best for the energy efficient following instruction fine tuning let's understand what is quantization away training and checkpoints are available So if see the gamma 3 is like quad is dramatically reduce the memory. The memory is a major thing. If you see the deep seek R1 and uh, in a chatboard era, the gamma 3 is going to be into the perform best. But it's a major thing is like the performance is like reduce the compute power. It maintain the quality, all right, and quantizing the model fully trying. So it means like it's take lesser cpu and it's gonna be uh, give the faster responses and gamma 3 with 27 billion parameters take 41 and gamma 3 1 billion parameters take 0.5 gb so this latest edition can run in your mobile phones which is gonna gives you perfect for uh, uh, giving the high um, responses for your queries and I, I personally believe that it is going to be best in a business if you wanted to use a query one. And now I'm going to show you how to create a one kind of like a bedtime story. So I built this app where I give an uh, bedtime story generator and all I need to do is a magical cat and I can write my own and I see is like under C and it's meet uh, uncover secret door and that should be bedtime and funny and uh, all I need to be writing the story so it's it is so fast and quick right it's understand the entire context of what I'm gonna writing a story and it's gonna come say the ginger tabby a perpetually surprise ex expression was bored the sand was sinking below the waves so it has given me the context what I'm looking and it's giving me the entire bedtime story and writing once I'm sharing this into the links and you can start playing uh, with that with you're giving your own uh, prompt for that and the fine tuning of this model is pretty um, amazing right I'm going to walk through the my upcoming video how I'm gonna fine tune this entire model and how it's gonna come up with a different language to do it and in terms of like it's gonna available into hugging face you can start uh, looking up this model I highly recommended you to go and try to see this model and how it's gonna support 140 languages which is available and go and try this model and let me know what you're trying to build it on my upcoming video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fine tune this model. Thanks for watching.